go. Perfect. All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about sound. So we've introduced sound last week, and we learned about our two different kinds of waves. So sound is an example of a mechanical wave. And as a mechanical wave, it is a compression wave. So it looks like this. You've got the compressions moving back and forth. If you look at a speaker, um, say for example a really loud speaker like a bass someone has in their car because they're a G, um, if you look at that speaker while it's on, you can actually see the speaker moving and it moves that air back and forth in compression. So it's a compression wave. Remember, it's a mechanical wave. We talked about it moving that air. A mechanical wave must have a medium. A medium is just any type of matter. It must have that matter to move or else it's not going to work and it's not going to do anything. So if there's no matter, no medium, no mechanical wave. So if there's no matter, no sound. So how do we talk about sound waves? So we talk about sound waves the same way we talk about other waves, but in sound, sometimes we use special words, such as volume or pitch. So in this case, how it relates to the rest of the waves you learned about, the amplitude is going to directly relate to the volume. The amplitude is the energy of the wave. So if you think if you have a sound wave with a lot of energy, you're going to hear it really well. If you have a sound wave of a high amplitude, it's going to be really loud. For example, this one, a lot of energy is a lot bigger versus this little teeny soft one. Soft one, not as much energy. So you're not going to hear it as well versus the loud one has lots of energy behind it. You're going to hear it really well. Then you've got the frequency. Remember, this is how many wavelengths pass in a certain amount of time, how fast that wave is moving. Um, Frequency is directly related to pitch. Pitch has to do with how high or how low that sound is coming across. So you can have a really high frequency, see how close these waves are together, versus a really low frequency. See, in the space of where I drew three here, I can only draw one here. There's a lot fewer wavelengths, lower frequency, lower pitch. High frequency, high, fr high pitch, low frequency, low pitch. And so the last thing we're going to discuss, discuss is how sound waves travel. So sound waves, just like any other mechanical wave, like I said, need that medium, need that matter to pass through. And when they're passing through that matter, it's a lot easier for them to pass through, and they'll pass through a lot better the closer the particles are of that medium together. So we've got different kinds of mediums. We've got three different states of matter, states of those mediums. Um, solid, liquid, and gas. Let's look at the particles. You've learned about this before. In a solid, those particles are really close together. So it's a lot easier for their motion to be felt by the other ones because they're so close together. So if I'm going to push on this side of this, every single one of these particles is going to feel it and continue that motion. Versus the liquid, if I push here, I start to miss some and then motion doesn't continue as much. Remember, they're moving. This is a wave. There's motion in there. And lastly, with a gas, I might push this little particle. Well, this one down here didn't even get touched. So it's a lot less efficient in the gas. It's not going to move as well. Remember, the more dense it is, solids much more dense than liquid, than gas, the closer the particles are together, the closer the particles are together, the better the wave is going to travel. 